What's up YouTube? This is Be More Styles and this is going to be a tutorial for Photoshop CS4. Uh, it doesn't really focus on any particular technique or tool but I've been getting a lot of requests of people asking me how I did this piece. Now while I can't take you step by step through the whole thing because I did it like two years ago and I don't remember step by step the whole thing but uh, it also took like six hours so there's no way I can make a six hour long video but I will do the best I can to take you as far as I can and hopefully you learn something from it yeah and uh, let me apologize in advance this is my first tutorial so if I don't explain something well enough or simple enough then please just leave a comment and I will definitely get back to you alright so basically we're gonna take three images this one this one and this one and we're gonna combine them through cloning and masking to make something like this which is the basis for this image. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so obviously start on your base layer. We're missing this leg here. So I've already got the paths drawn. If you draw a path around this leg with the pen tool, command click that path. Command J will copy it. Let's move it into place over here. Command T to transform. Let's make it bigger. Just kind of fit it in there. Something like that. Alright, now obviously we still have the background image showing through here. So if you put a mask on the background image by clicking this icon here, um, if you know about masks, black hides and white shows. So with a black brush, 100% opacity, just start taking out that background image. Alright, that's good. Now obviously we still have this crease here, so go to the duplicated leg layer and let's put a mask on that and with let's lower the opacity like 60 percent make sure you still have a soft edge brush and using black just go ahead and blend this in and once more alright obviously we still have this big discrepancy in the lighting here and the shading there so make a new layer get your clone tool out by hitting S is the shortcut alt click right around here wherever you want to draw from and with opacity of about 50 percent just start going right over that crease kind of hide that a little bit. And I'm trying to go as fast as possible so I can get as much in here as I can. So I'm not going to do that good of a job, but you want to be a lot more meticulous and detail oriented when you do it. But uh yeah, that works. All right. One last thing I want to do with this is get your lasso tool out. Drag a path around the duplicated leg layer or the crease there and command J to copy that. Command T, let's transform it. And just drag it down right about here and right click let's warp it to put a little bit more of a curve on it something like that and let's drag it into place alright now put a mask on that and 100% opacity black soft edge brush let's go smaller just go around the outside here just to soften up that edge and blend it in more alright something like that all right, now let's extend this building up, and for that, let's make a new layer and get your clone tool out. Whenever cloning, it's good to look for patterns and stuff to stick with. So I see this crease here, and just alt-click on that crease, and let's bring that up. So just start extending this building here. Something like that. All right, now I wanted it to go all the way to the top, but it didn't. So just hit V for your select tool, drag it up, and let's repeat that step. So just click right down there and just start bringing this up. Let's try not to get those if possible. Alright, now let's clean it up a little bit. I see we got a few spots here. Alright, I should, I'm a perfectionist, I should probably just chill out, but you guys can take care of this, you see what I'm talking about, just clean it up a little bit. Um, now let's get this out of here, if you all click right about there, and just start bringing this over. Let's make this bigger. Alright. Let's extend this a little bit. 
All right, now obviously we're covering up this little overhang thing here. So if you get out your pen tool and let's draw a path of where we think that would be. Something right there. Go over to your paths and let's command click on that path to highlight it, make a new layer. Actually, before we make a new layer, if you hold Alt and click on, see how this covered up, the clone covered up there. So if you hold Alt and click on the mask, sorry, I hit it too many times. As I was saying, if you hold Alt and click on the mask, it'll automatically fill that area with black. So it'll hide that. That's what we wanted. So go ahead and make a new layer. And Shift-Command-D will bring back the last path you had selected. Get out your clone tool. Let's make it smaller here. And just start extending this up here. Just like that. Now you're going to want to fix up that little white crease, but uh, it's not that important. All right, now we want to extend this storm drain. For that, we want to make a new layer. Alt-click down here somewhere. 100% opacity. Just start dragging it up. Just like that. All right, and obviously there's a bit of a crease here. You guys probably want to take care of that. Just soften it up or use masking, whichever technique you'd like. All right, now let's come back out. Let's add in this big poster here. For that, we need a new image, this image here. So if you go ahead and put a mask on that and fill the entire mask with black, which will hide all of it, using a white soft tip brush, 100% opacity, start to bring this back in. Uh, it gets a little tricky right around here. So let's zoom in a little bit. Alright, let's make a new layer. And get your clone tool out. And let's click right in the middle here. Make sure you at 100%. And just start bringing down that light pole there. Something like that. Let's clean up a few things. Something like that. Okay, it's not that clean, but it's all right. You saw the technique. You see what I'm doing, at least. Uh, obviously, there's a big discrepancy in the color here, the lighting. So you can do one of two things. You can either use your clone tool to just clone this out something like that, or you can use adjustment layers uh, like curves, brightness contrast, even channel mixer, whichever you prefer, whichever you're more comfortable with, and just uh, kind of blend that a little bit better.